Hi. It is time for another video tutorial about Zopare. This time we are doing a step-by-step -step installation tutorial. The blog post is already online and available and you get all the commands and lots of information including a video what is Zopare. And I've recorded some real life examples like smart home control, smart mirror control and stuff like that. Here we see that you can turn on lights on and off and I have a smart mirror with wake up commands and change view commands and of course in um, in the past I made a video about robotic arm control so it's about sound pattern recognition and this includes voice recognition. The source code is available on github and you find all these links and information on the homepage. Let's start with the step-by-step -step tutorial and um, take a look to the hardware. Zopare requires a multi-core environment and in terms of Raspberry Pi this means Raspberry Pi 2 of course not the box or Raspberry Pi um, 3 and you can check what kind of Raspberry Pi you have with this command just execute the command and you get the revision number and on a page on the internet you find the corresponding revision number and in my case I have the model 3 which has multi-core support and um, of course, helpful is any kind of USB microphone or stuff like that is required. And I, so the next step is talking about resolving the dependencies. Resolving the dependencies is relatively easy. It's a two, um, two commands. First command is to get all the updates for your Raspberry and the second is to install the dependencies. This takes some seconds here. Just execute the commands. In my case, I have anything installed and you may um, install the required software with the command. The next step is to install Zopare and this is relatively easy as you just have to execute these commands. As I have um, Zopare already installed, I will install it in the temp directory. Just copy all the commands and execute it and that's it. It takes only a couple of seconds. And now we can talk about the hardware. We can now start the test and hardware check. First of all, it's of course it is important that your microphone is working properly. You can check this with a program like the Alza mixer and make sure that the microphone is recognized and has a good input level. What is important that you are using a Python version and currently I can only recommend Python 2.7 even if we put quite some effort in um, the three version support, but there we need some more documentation and testing. What 
is included in Zopare is some kind of unit tests. You should fire this test up um, as several things are tested. For example, also the multi-core support, which means that if you are running on uh, unsupported ver a version, you get this information. So, of course, it would be great if the unit test runs successfully. The next thing is uh, audio test. As most of the users in the, in the past had issues with sample weights and um, definition of chunks and correct thresholds and uh, um, lots of other issues, I've written some test cases, and this test checks the sample weight, the optimal sample, uh, sample weight, the optimal chunk size, and also recommends a threshold. This test runs several minutes as everything is tested, so you need a little bit patience. And at the end, you get the recommendation for the configuration. Here we get the recommendations, the um, recommended con uh, sample weight, the recommended chunk size, and also the calculated threshold. The threshold is um, a value above a certain silence, which means that you should not talk um, a lot or play music when this test case runs. So the next thing in, um, in terms of the Zopare installation is that we need to tweak the configuration. Um, you should remember these values and then edit the configuration and change the values according um, in whatever the recommendations were. In my case, the chunk size is okay, the sample weight is okay, and the threshold here is also fine. When the configuration is changed, then it's time to train. And this can be done with this command. So start Zopare in training mode uh, and web browse mode, and to specify a kind of identifier for this training round and I will train now a uh, knock. As you see I'm I start the train I, I execute the command B uh, silence till the line um, start recording appears on the screen and then I'm uh, I record the uh, sound and I will do this three times. And another one. And when I've done this, I can compile the dictionary. And the next step is to run Zopare in, in an endless loop mode. And I test if the knock was. Trained, and you see after three times um, testing or training the knock, it's recognized most of the time, and we are at the end of the step by step tutorial. And the last thing I want to mention is how to delete training files. And this can be done. These are the raw training files, and this is to delete the dictionary. And if you have questions, just ask. Um, if you found or if you find bugs, report them on GitHub. And it's time to say thank you and have fun with the sound pattern recognition. Bye.